you a story that I authored. It's it's this long. You think we'll be here for a very long time, but it's actually not that long. Let, let's start. One time after surfing, I held a cool looking hard seashell to my ear to hear ocean sounds, not not hearing the faded snaps inside. A crab leaped out of the shell so quickly it almost hurt my ear and then went out to the ocean, leaving the shell in my hands. I didn't want to see a whole crab family come out of the shell, so I gently put it down in the sand, sidekicked it, and then whistled a friendly tune while walking away. Afterwards, I saw a frightening, bone-chilling, and earth-shattering sight. A ginormous shark washed ashore while super soaking us with water. Most of the people enjoyed it, and some other surfers used it as a way to manipulate waves so that they could be as big as a shark. But I noticed something interesting about the shark. It looked like it was hurting from the crab, because after a while, it started to splash here and there violently, and the lifeguards didn't care. This was probably because the shark was splashing so hard, the guards might have thought someone brought sprinklers and didn't mind that at all. I'm not usually supposed to help sea animals, but I didn't want the shark hurting anyone. So I inspected the shark and then asked my friend John to see if uh, the other lifeguards could help. John got, just got hired as a lifeguard, so many people didn't know about him. When he was little, he hurt his brain on the side that knew about his lefts and rights. Nowadays, when people ask him to go right, he goes left. Same thing here. When the other lifeguards told John to go left on the helicopter further in the sea, he asked, are you sure? The other lifeguards just shook their heads in disgust. And then he did it. He dropped, he dropped the shark on our house. But that's not all. Afterwards, we figured out it was a mom shark and that the baby would come searching soon. When it did, the lifeguards had an ingenious plan to help John, or so they thought. They told John to go left, and when they really wanted, to, and they, when they really wanted him to go right, they knew that he would go the opposite way. But unfortunately, John decided to change right then and there and actually go left. The lifeguards nearly quit their job. When John left the shark on the wrong way of the sea, it swam away, but not because of the feet. That's why I noticed it. The mom shark crushed our house, but when she hit the bottom floor, she turned on the stove. John and some other lifeguards called the fire station, and when it came in with a float, they hit the big bridge that goes to the island. The, the bridge started to crumble down, and a few cars got stuck, stuck in the beach. Like, like this could, 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 could get better, but it did. I kicked the can I brought with me. It went flying into a ship and bounced off. When they look overhead, they saw us and helped fix the bridge. The can rolled across the street behind us. There's a million dollars on the floor because a, a robber dropped it earlier today. The can picked it up and then tripped into our insurance company's building. Look, a million dollars. The can read help in my name because I was going to throw it just in case we got lost in our now canceled fishing trip. Unfortunately, it, I mean, fortunately, they remembered my name and rushed off to our house, chucking the can so far. The, the can turned on the sprinklers. Our house was no longer on fire anymore. Everything got put together after that. The, the insurance company brought, brought back the house and the people on the ship f helped fix the bridge. Even John made up for it by moving the already dead shark back out to the ocean. But now I'm scared of the ocean and keep the can right next to me wherever I go. I hope you liked the story. It took me, <laughs> I think, three days to make it. Yeah, all that in only three, three days. Bye. Cl click uh, subscribe.